welcome back to another uh tune kind at 12 fps uh my my name is uh magic i am playing um a, a questionable goat man today um and i am here with my uh lovely friend and co-host hello i am uh oatmeal and i'll be playing the professor um uh alien spaceman alien spaceman um, <laughs> alien spaceman <laughs> from a far off planet in time. <laughs> um, so redundant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um. Okay. Uh. I've words. Yes, I'm great at those. Uh. <laughs> can I ask where uh? This is this is after Antique Mystique. Uh mm. sometime after. Uh wherever you want to put it in Professor's timeline, uh I'd be perfectly okay with it. Um Yeah, I uh I was actually I probably should have asked you, do you want it to be before or after the vampire stuff? Because I, that's really the only I other have, big milestone that's in here. I have not seen the vampire stuff, so that is completely up to you because I am fine both ways. Ooh. Uh Let's just do it after for both of our convenience. This is the <laughs> this is up to up to the present for both characters. Okay, okay. So I think this is going to be more interesting apparently. Uh noting what the little bits I've heard from that game. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> May or may not even come up just because he's already talked to a bunch of people about it. So he might not bring it up to Seeker. Um, but, uh, it also might be relevant now that I think about it, so, um... <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I was going to ask, uh, where, where do you think Ellie's parked right now? Um, I probably, uh, let me see. Uh, me I'll roll it I'll roll a die. Uh, one Toontown, two Villstown, three, uh, some other place in Einquell, four somewhere else. Mm hmm. It's gonna be really okay. Weird one, if you... it's in Toontown. <laughs> okay, I was about to be like four being literally anywhere. It could literally be parked in a real kind of continent, and Professor uh -huh. be like, "How the f Professor just like how the fuck did you get here?" And Seeker standing at the door. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> <laughs> God, uh, no, uh, Toontown, probably, like, a normal spot, um, mm -hmm. uh, dun, 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 dun. uh, what do you think the professor's doing right now? Um, probably, uh, let's see, what will we be doing? Um, hmm. Uh, I think he might be... Uh, doing some, uh, uh, reading? I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe. Okay. You don't, you don't have to think too hard about it if you don't want to. Uh. <laughs> I don't, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. It's, it's been a while. Uh. Yeah, no, it's all right. Okay. Um. I think uh, Seeker's going to kind of approach uh, Ellie's door and just be like, Hello! Hello, Ellie. Uh, can I go in, please? <laughs> He's just looking uh, at the door. Yeah, there is no particular answer. <laughs> well, I'm just going to go try the lock. <laughs> uh, tries to open the door. Uh, Alright, let me see. Uh... All right, uh, it is open. <laughs> Seeker continuously asking Ellie to open the door instead of knocking like a normal person. Um, I think I think he's just like, oh, oh, thank you, Ellie. Uh, bonks head on door uh, before closing it uh, and skipping off into the ellipsis very uh -huh. casually. <laughs> uh uh, the professor is not in the console room. Uh, he seems to be somewhere uh, else. Okay. Uh, can, 
Can I roll a survival to see how long it takes for him to to navigate? Because I think uh, it'd be yeah. funny if if he fucking failed this roll. Okay. Uh, sure. Okay. So let me let me know if I'm uh being too pestery about these things. Uh, no, no, not at all. Uh, thirteen. Um, he's not being stealthy. Uh, so I I think Professor, uh, wherever you're currently sitting, probably with a book. Um, you can hear uh, very distant at first, kind of echoey, like clickings, and then they get closer. And then they get closer. <laughs> they weren't there before. Uh huh. Um, you know, it just sounds like uh, an an irregular pattern from uh, a pair of hooves than you would expect from a normal horse. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, would you like to roll perception? Yes, yes, I would. Would love to roll perception. My absolute best stat. Eight. All right. Uh, you hear some uh. Like, you hear the professor, like, talking out loud in kind of a, uh, like, deliberate, uh, sort of, like, uh, not lyrical, but, like, a sort of rhythmic fashion and realize, like, oh, that's iambic pentameter. He's, like... He's reading a play out loud or something, but then he stop. But then, like, he stops abruptly because he has heard uh, the the hoof noises. I think as soon as Seeker hears that he's like Professor stops, he stops. So Professor very suddenly goes quiet. He just goes like, "Hello." <laughs> Seeker, you, you hear Seeker uh, call back, no, keep reading, go on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, uh, and he, he does, he does keep reading. <laughs> um, click, 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 click. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. Seeker instantly <laughs> got distracted by books. Um, I think uh, maybe after like a minute, you see Seeker kind of like skip into the room. Um, and uh, is the prof- do you think the professor's sitting down in like a like an armchair or something? No, honestly, I think he's standing and walking around. Like, uh, cause he's, he's, he's like reading aloud from a book. Um, it's just kind of, it's, it's more like being on a stage if you're standing and walking around. Oh my god. Seeker has, <laughs> has given me like the most terrible idea of trying to like jump on him. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I think, I think Professor Hughes is like, Professor! And then increasing clicking of hooves. Uh, do you want to turn around? Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Seeker is rushing at you. He is going for a tackle hug. Okay, what do I have to do? <laughs> do you want to roll, like, an athletics to catch him? Or, like, yeah, I'll do that. to dodge him? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, that is a 26. Uh, 26. Uh, you managed... Uh, I think you managed to catch him, uh... Just like still as you're reading, uh, uh-huh. like you don't even have to like tuck the book away. You just catch him mm-hmm. with one arm, uh, uh-huh. very light. Um, he's just like, <laughs> "Hi, hello, professor." Uh, bonks his forehead against your chin because it's more convenient from the way you caught him. Uh, hi, mm-hmm. what are you reading? Hello, uh, I'm reading Hamlet. Ooh, Hamlet, that's a good one. Hmm. He just he's kind of like looking at the page. Uh mm-hmm. Uh Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are uh bothering Hamlet. Ooh. 
you know, I like, hope this this play doesn't end in a, a ton of murder, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I think he just kind of like grins. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know that much about Hamlet, but Seeker definitely would. Uh, it literally ends in a bunch of murder. I know that much. Uh, so. Yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, he just sort of, like, gives him a look, and when it's clear that he knows what he's talking about, he just sort of, like, smiles and shakes his head. All right, so to what do I owe the pleasure? He's going to close the book. Well, I'm a pleasure on the universe. Uh, <laughs> he says, still in your arms. Uh, he has not left unless you've put, tried to put him down. No, he, he just sort of snaps the book shut with one hand. Uh, and uh, now he has both arms free to give him a proper hug. <laughs> hug. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know why this is so amusing. Um, Professor's <laughs> uh, just... Uh, Professor, uh, Seeker is just, well, I, I wanted to go see you, so, um, you know, I, I had a few, uh, questions, uh. Oh, all right. Yeah, so, uh, do you want to sit down? We can have some, like, tea or something. Uh, sure. We can make tea. Do you want tea? I got some wild dandelions. Uh, he pulls out, like, wild dandelion petals from just, like, his pockets. If you like. Uh, the professor just sort of like looks between like the sitting area and like the hall where the kitchen would be and just sort of like shrugs I like I don't know where your kitchen is oh um this way uh <laughs> <laughs> so he'll uh uh he'll he'll show a home seeker Seeker's been to this kitchen before, and that what's make what makes this hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> he still doesn't know where the kitchen is. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, uh, uh, I think I think Seeker kind of roots around for whatever sort of kettle you have. Um, mm -hmm. My brain is instantly going to the glass kettle I have downstairs, uh, mm. and and sort of like putting it on to heat up the water. It's just like, uh, so Professor, go ahead, sit down. Um, <laughs> Mm-hmm. I have a... He... Oh, he does. <laughs> I, I have a few questions. Uh, don't freak out too much about them. Um, you uh -huh. know, casual. Uh, hey, what was up with the... With the, um... Words are failing me. Dun, 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 dun. Um, what was up with the, uh, closing the door? I'm... Sorry? At the antique what? store. At the closing You You mean the You mean the front door? Yeah. The, when we first Oh. What's up with that? Well it was open, I figured we shouldn't just leave it like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Especially after um the, the sign had well, the the place had signs of it being, you know, ransacked. What? No, it didn't. No, it was robbed. You know, there's a broken glass. What? There was no broken... There wasn't a broken glass. Was there not broken glass? No. Fuck! God damn there, it. There was... Uh, it was... Uh, there was a closed sign and the lights were off except for a, a light further in. Uh, and then eventually what... Um, I thought uh, it was broken glass. No, unfortunately, I, no. I'm very good at remembering. Um, I mean, I just re-listened to it. God damn it! I'm sorry. <laughs> You're okay. Uh, there was a lot of dust, uh, and we did hear like some thudding, which was why, which is how, which is what made Professor finally change his mind. Yeah. You know, a uh, suspicious light at the back of the shop, um, door open, uh, metaphorical broken glass. Well, well, there wasn't any clear reason that anyone was, uh, that anyone had broken in, that anything was amiss. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Seek has pulled out a notebook and is taking notes. Oh, <laughs> he already seems a little defensive. <laughs> Seeker writing down seems defensive. <laughs> you know, uh, I I did notice during during that trip. Um, it, this is this is going to sound weird, but uh, you were very strangely efficient. Uh, do you have any comments about that? Uh, what? What is this? A job interview? No, this is an interrogation. Why? <laughs> because I want to know. What? Uh, efficient. What? I. Because there was a possible danger, and I was kind of in charge of uh, of uh, two young adults. Three children and some equine plant of indeterminate age and maturity. <laughs> Seeker, Seeker kind of thinks over that for a moment. Yeah, I think they're, they're more like a horse or something. They do know how to dance, though. That was fun. Um, he's writing, writing stuff down. Okay. Look, I wasn't about to... I was just trying to make sure things were safe. I, I wasn't going... To... I wasn't about to bring this whole particular group into... Well, into what it ended up being, frankly. But or into anything else uh, of an equal or worse uh, severity of, I don't know, could, could have been anything. Hmm. Interesting. It's an antique shop. You could have anything in there. Well, what were you expecting? I don't know. Like Look, a... I, he just sort of like puts his hands like, uh, uh, like out on the table, like gesturing, like it's considering my track record. It could be anything from uh, a giant spider to a dragon to uh, a particularly nasty politician to a vampire I have no way of knowing I had no way of knowing it was going to be a, a sentient side table yeah but usually you would jump at the chance to investigate stuff wouldn't you Well, yes, when I'm by myself or when I'm with people who are capable of handling such things. First of all, rude. Second of all... Well, look, you look, you, you are included in that list. I think, I think I've demonstrated that. But, but the rest of the group? Mm hmm... Uh, less so. Amber, okay. I still would rather uh, have her exposed to slightly less harrowing experiences. Uh, Box is pretty young, and at least, and she 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 seems to be trying to, um. Uh, shield them from the worst of the world, so I might as well uh, take her uh, lead on that, and then and then Margaret's five, and I don't know what soul is, and I don't know who Wes is. Mm hmm. 
Ah, uh, he's still writing down notes. He seems a little frustrated. <laughs> he's just looking at Seeker like, what the heck? <laughs> he's nosy. Oh. I, I wiggle. <laughs> That is understandable, and going it alone does seem to be part of your track record. Like, he's like kind of flipping through pages to like check previous sources. Mm. I mean, I usually try to bring uh, other people, but people who are cap equally capable of handling a situation. Not just anybody. Mm hmm. When did you become this cautious? I... What do you mean? Seeker... Seeker, like, uh... Stairs. What do you mean, this cautious? I, I don't know. You... What? I... I, I, I don't, I don't understand what you're getting at. I'm doing subtle wiggles. Give me a moment. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. I don't know. You just... It's like you're a bit on edge about something. Do you want to elaborate, or...? I... I don't... Are you saying that I wasn't acting normally? I don't think so. You don't think so? Well, there are such things as extenuating circumstances. And he's sort of, like, staring Seeker down for a bit, but then, like, um, uh, he, like, looks away and looks slightly annoyed, um, and, like, shrugs and says, like, all right, so... Maybe, maybe I'd had some reason to be slightly more cautious than usual um, just before that particular uh, misadventure. Oh? Well, there was... Um, Well, I, there's only so much I can actually say about it, um, but there was a case I was on with, um, Azumi, uh, where I went into things, um, uh, fairly... Uh, confidently and without too much of a plan. Um, and it was going fantastically for a while. Um, and then uh, our team met up against the uh, Ahead of the organization we were infiltrating, and um, I 
didn't see any way out except to fight. Which, you know, I don't... It's not my first choice. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't think he was going to let us go, um, I, alive, I, um, I didn't want us to get found out or hurt or captured or anything and we knew that this was an individual who uh cared very little for the um uh safety and well-being of anyone uh and at that point we'd already lied very thoroughly to him uh, mm -hmm. I, we, it was time to make a run for it, but if the only way for us to get out, um, for all of us to get out, uh, would be to, well, to disable him in some way, and, well, the best way of doing that was to knock him out. Only problem was that was a lot harder than uh, uh well I, I was going to say that I planned for it but the, the fact is that I didn't plan for it. And, well, so what happened was, um, we did fight, uh, and three out of the five of us nearly went down, um, mm -hmm. uh, including me, uh, and Azumi, who actually was knocked out. I had to... Um, uh, I had to bring him back to consciousness. Mm -hmm. We nearly botched the whole mission. Um, didn't, I didn't think we got all we came for, or we would have them after us shortly. The only reason we we didn't is because of two mm, sort of interesting, fortuitous uh, events that were completely out of our knowledge and control. Um, well, outside of my knowledge and control. And you think if you would have thought ahead of it, you would have been able to prevent it? I think we could have done something better, sure. I don't know what. What do you think you could have done better overall? Not tried to fight the half giant? Tiku <laughs> like pauses, gives a considering <laughs> nod, like, yeah, that, that makes sense, you know? Yeah. Ah. <sighs> He he nearly he he very nearly took me down in one turn. Well, 
one turn, I had to retreat. Mm -hmm. And I was the strongest person there. Ooh. Yes. That's not great. No! Kind of sounds like a slight party in battle. <laughs> I'll say! <laughs> God, I, like, Tiku's just like staring at his notepad, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. So, is that... Is that the only thing you would have changed? Or is it... Anything else? I don't... <sighs> I don't know. I mean, it ended up working to... Like, maybe not our favor exactly, but it, it worked out. I just it was just a mess I nearly lost Azumi and Karma and I weren't, weren't particularly well off either um I will know, uh, Seeker is just like, who the fuck is Karma while he's writing this down? <laughs> just, like, internally. Yeah. No idea who that is. Um. Hmm. I don't know. It was just... It... A mess. <sighs> yes, it was a mess. It... It, um, I don't know. It it was. I, I don't know. I I felt like I. It was the first time I'd, um, in a while, first time in a while that I'd, um, uh, failed as a leader like that. I didn't I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. Well, and I'd already gotten chewed out for not being cautious enough um by uh Dr. Crystal Everlight. Um, um I told you about um there was a dragon problem. Uh, Scrib Scribbles and Sally Alamos have a dragon problem now. I don't know if you told me about that. I think I heard that from uh, Marigold. Oh, maybe so. But, um, well, that went all right uh, on the whole. Uh, but then I, um, I messed with something I shouldn't have uh, and everybody except for me was very uh upset and panicked about it um uh and i got pretty thoroughly told off for uh touching something that seemed magically evil without knowing what it was or what it did which is valid mm -hmm. I did uh, apologize for it later it was a bit reckless uh seeker seeker nods and kind of uh looks over and it's just like oh shit the water oh <laughs> <laughs> like gets up, uh, leaving his notebook out <laughs> to go take take care of the water. Um, because... Professor is going to uh, is going to pull the notebook towards himself <laughs> uh, and try to take a look. Uh, you know, it's it's like very basic notes, just like taking note of the situation. Uh, like just 
the the basic facts of what he's been told uh maybe mm. like a maybe like a few things underlined here or there um uh there there probably is uh like both of the the parts where um professor has said he's like the leader of the group they they're both kind of like circled and there's like a an arrow um mm. like off to the side with a little little margin note of considering default leader um <laughs> uh i wiggle um but <laughs> otherwise it's very very tame and not uh like his uh normal notes that happens like after the fact of things um mm -hmm. you know like this was a, a straight up interview because mm -hmm. you know he's curious um yeah yeah he 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 puts it back uh seeker uh seeker comes back over with two glasses of uh of uh of tea it's just that might need to infuse for a little bit but um thank you you're welcome he does not notice that you've uh looked at his notebook at all <laughs> <laughs> he was not paying attention um so why exactly do you need to know that the reason i was so cautious was because of some prior experiences because i wanted to know he just sort of makes a face i'm very nosy you know oh. yes god i had a i had a question i wanted to ask but i can't fucking remember it right now mm. so all of these, all of these different scenarios uh, that that you've mentioned to me so far that things have gone wrong, uh, you're entirely blaming yourself. Hmm. Uh Well, these particular problems, yes. Uh it was. Um very uh very clearly my uh sole decision to go up to the mysterious cook and touch it uh or try to um at least um that was all me i'll admit um and then uh well i'm the one who uh well who started the fight um i mean I, I i led the charge into the place um the uh fake well fake the um investigation um that was really an infiltration um i did most of the talking with the boss and then i i gave the order to attack given all of the information you know about that situation now all of it what would be the would you have been able to predict any of that from the start? Um... Well... Yes? Really? Sure, I... I knew the... Uh... I knew the black ooze was dangerous because I saw what it did to the dragon and that's a freaking dragon um and I knew that the boss was going to be hard to fight because uh I knew he was um huge and the leader of a particularly cruel organization and that he had a bunch of 
uh, goons at his beck and call. And that this was a secure facility. Mm -hmm. You couldn't even just teleport out of it. They had wards against that. Mm, gross. I know. I mean, granted, we didn't know that until we went in. Although we could have guessed, granted, uh, the nature of the place and the case we were working on. But at any rate, I had plenty of time to have used that knowledge once I did find it out before I actually set off the action. Mm -hmm. So you think you could have come up with an escape plan before you decided to go uh, to go torment the, uh, the leader of the organization? I... maybe. But we wouldn't have gotten what we needed to get we we would have we would have had to divert course much earlier before we got to talk to him uh we could have escaped the place certainly but we wouldn't have gotten any of uh the information that we really needed to make uh any major headway in the case which we only got by uh, removing him from his office and ransacking it. Mm -hmm. I'm writing things down, don't mind me. Because I <laughs> need to keep track of what the fuck's happening. Dun, 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 dun. So, so there was no other exit plan? Um, no, I didn't have an exit plan. I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know what I was walking into. And so I thought I would figure it out once I was inside only I didn't. So, your character growth from then on outwards uh, would be to try to know what you're getting into, right? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, maybe? Interesting, interesting. <laughs> writing that down I mean at the very least I mean I can take a few um I can take a I can afford to take a few more cautious measures and uh, maybe I maybe it was a little overkill in the antique shop um I'll admit I think we wasted a lot of time just investigating the shop itself when there was really nothing there yeah, uh, but I don't know. You've got to start somewhere, haven't you? I, I don't disagree with that. Um, and he's kind of uh, fiddling with the pages. I say while I'm uh, looking at this fidget toy. Um, <laughs> but I don't. I don't know. You, you seem to jump to violence a lot quicker than usual. I, I don't know why it bugs me so much. Mm. I... Look, with the boss, I didn't see any way of getting past him. No, no, I'm not talking about that. What, well, what are you talking about, then? Angel. The, the guy at the shop, that guy. He was, he was lying, and I had a five-year-old behind me. I didn't know what he wanted. 
You look scrawny and pathetic. Do you really think you're trying to ransom a five-year-old? You can't judge somebody by their appearance. True, true. I um, had no idea how powerful he was or weak. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just called him fucking scrawny and wicks in the chat and I just remembered. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that does seem fair enough, I suppose. I wasn't going to hurt hurt him i just i didn't have whole person so best thing to do was if he was just he was coming closer i i happened to have a tool that would repel a person uh yes it does it does do a bit of damage it does hurt somewhat but <laughs> i would have healed him if it knocked him out <laughs> Professor is just like confused and kind of slightly ticked off and frustrated. <laughs> like, he doesn't understand why he's being interrogated like this. I don't, uh, I want to offer to roll if you want to roll an insight. Uh, sure. Uh, you can, you can go ahead and roll an insight if you want to. Um, no, nope, that's that's a freaking six. Uh, uh, two angry seeker looks. Uh, too too <laughs> very casual about this for you to focus on anything else. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am fully open, oh. by the way, if you want to start interrogating him back, because uh, if if you want to, that is an mm -hmm. option. Um, anyway. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think at the very least he's just going to be like, Seeker, why do you care about that? Care about what? The, the fact that I uh, hit somebody in a particular situation when that's not usually what I do. You know. Changing behavior. I was just wondering what's going on. Are you concerned about my mental health? Cons no, never. Oh, Seeker <laughs> said. Look at <laughs> why would I? Why would I ever be concerned about uh about you deviating from the norm uh into some other sort of uh some of, sort of e other mind state? <laughs> he he just he just glares at him over his tea. <laughs> the tea is very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh. is just smirking like a fucking bastard. What do you want me to not? hit anybody ever because you've oh, got no. it in your head that I okay I don't understand what's the deal secret with airline food no <laughs> what do you know about airline food <laughs> <laughs> farm boy <laughs> did the professor say that I need to know <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had it at a pub once. Uh, he takes a sip of tea. Uh, <laughs> figures. <laughs> you know, uh, bars are one of the best places to get information, as long as you don't drink yourself. Um, takes another sip of tea. Oh, I know. Thankfully, I have an advantage. Can't get drunk. Oh, that must be nice. Mm, very convenient. 
wiggle gently. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, is the really anything wrong with me being, oh, I don't know, concerned about you or whatever? No, wrong with it? No, I just think that this method of uh, interrogation and picking apart my motives is a bit much. Is it now? See, yes! <laughs> writing that down. <laughs> Seeker. Yes? Please. You're not answering my question. Uh, and what question is that? Why are you doing this? He looks, he looks down at the page. He looks up at the professor. Oh, uh, does he want to continue to be a little shit? <laughs> uh, I think he does. Um, oh my god. Just, I don't know, why does, why does anyone want to do anything? You know, personal motives, uh... He kind of, like, looks at an individual mo an, an individual watch. Invisible Invisible watch. I'm real good at words. <laughs> You know, just, uh... Well, what are your personal motives, then? I don't know, what do you think my personal motives are? Why don't you tell me? <laughs> Why don't you tell me? I don't know! I've been trying to figure out for the past hour! <laughs> <laughs> do you want more tea? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Seeker pours him more tea. <laughs> God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, you haven't asked me questions over the last hour. It's only been over the last, what, um, five minutes, maybe? No, I mean, I've been trying to figure out since you started asking me questions. Ah, uh, that makes more sense. Uh, he, he sips more tea and just stares at the professor. I don't get it. Why not? He just frowns more, like... Why is it such a concern to you that I do something I don't, in your mind, typically do? God damn it, Seeker, stop being a little shit. Okay. Uh, Tiku, Tiku kind of, like, sets his tea down to the side and, like, rests, rests the hand on his chin and he's just like, you know, uh, sometimes people have, uh, things called caring about each other. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of it before. I think this is a bit beyond that. Is it? Either that, or you have even worse people skills than I thought you did. Okay, rude. Well, you're I the one interrogating me. People skills. Well. Would you please demonstrate them and tell me what <laughs> is going on? Seeker sigh. Apologies. I don't know. It it bugs me. I'm not I'm not sure why, but it just it seems a bit out of character. And I wanted to make sure that nothing terrible has happened or anything, which I suppose it has. Um. Mm. But... Yeah, I think, I think, uh, nearly losing one of my closer friends is terrible. But I, 
I don't want you to change too much, you know? Does that make sense? Character growth is good and all, but... I... <laughs> Seeker... Yes? Change... is... not only important, but... One of the most important things there is for somebody like me. Mm hmm Do you, you saw... You saw what happened when I was holding that clock, right? Uh-huh. Well... That me didn't act the same either. Seeker knife. Right, so I'm fairly different than I was some six, seven years ago when I was him. Mm -hmm. And, well, in some ways, I'm still figuring myself out. Am I usually somebody who uh, attacks without warning? No. Uh, do I do it when I think it's the most pragmatic option? Apparently. Seeker has gone back to writing notes. I think it's fair to try out um, options, see how they work, see how they, uh, what effect they have on uh, myself and the people around me, see how um, uh, the results make me feel, you know, am I, uh, you know, what, what am I doing afterwards? Do I feel no regret or lots? Uh, you know, it doesn't change the fact that I did it. Um, and it might've been out of character as you say, but it doesn't mean it wasn't me. Mm -hmm. So you're doing a bit of self-exploration? Kind of. Kind of. Okay. Well, I'm partially using that as, a, as an excuse. An excuse for what? For acting the way that I thought was the best option at the time and being relentlessly questioned about it by you right now. I'm trying to get a bit of the heat off. Hmm. Uh, he nods, he nods. Would you like more tea? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> He can pour us in more tea. I am so sorry he's being so obnoxious today. Yeah. For you, oatmeal. No, that's fine. I don't, I don't know why he's like this. Uh, mm -hmm. What's so bad about acting out of character? There's nothing bad about it. I just want to make sure you're alright. Why does it worry you? Uh, you said you wanted to make sure I wasn't changing too much? That it bothered you? Kind of... Uh, I can't describe his expression. Because um, mm. it's sort of like that... Uh, I, um, how the fuck do I describe it? Uh, it you know that like sort of... Uh, like like half pout that you can do where it's like mm -hmm. yeah uh it kind of does one of those faces um well 
you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes people, uh, you know, uh, stories, real life, uh, can get something into their head, um, thinking they're doing it for the good of others, and you do a lot of things for the good of others, um, mm. <laughs> looking pointedly at Professor, um, He's not denying it. <laughs> and sometimes that can make them do very questionable things. Um, I'm not saying you'd do anything, uh, but... Oh, okay. You... I think I see what you're getting at. You think I might be at the beginning of a slippery slope? Mm -hmm. Not completely there, but uh, maybe just in the neighborhood. Mm. I, hmm. I'm not disagreeing that being cautious is good, just being overly cautious can do damage, you know? I know people who would disagree with you, but I'm Unforeseen not one of them. Unforeseen consequences. Seeker nods. Uh, thankful that you agree with him. Uh huh. <laughs> Um, I don't think I'm... Going that way? I don't think so. I've seen people do that. Believe me, I've seen a lot of people do that. I don't think you're going that way either, to be fair. Alright. Just wanted to make sure. Hmm. I don't know, sometimes desperate times come, uh, call for desperate measures, and... Hmm. This is not new for me. <laughs> I've had to do some pretty drastic things in the past that I wouldn't normally do. Mm -hmm. I mean... Uh... You... Um... Remember Epsilon? I mean, I know you didn't actually meet him. Epsilon, yeah. Right. Um. Did I ever explain why he was so mad at me? I... You might have, but go ahead and explain it again if you want to. Right, so... Um, uh, he was going to, uh, he was going to, uh, destroy, uh, Falagray, um, and everybody on it, uh, and I was asked to, um, intervene as one of the only people who could mm -hmm. uh, and what it took to stop him was uh destroying him mm -hmm. and so i did uh seeker not and that's why he, uh, hated me. Understandably, I think. Because you murdered him, right? Essentially. I actually tricked him into doing it himself, which I think insulted him even more. <laughs> I think Seeker just kind of, like, snicker at that. Oh. Mm. I'm writing things down. Uh, I, I, I think he kind of like, uh, kind of like nods, takes a sip of tea. Well, and and that was even before I was this me. That was the last me that did that. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Okay. So this isn't a, as out of character as I thought it would be, is it? I don't think so. I've... <laughs> I've done some pretty drastic things. Uh, I used to be... Well, when I was much younger, uh, I was much more likely to uh, physically attack somebody who was a threat. Um, and I had to gradually uh, unlearn that and move away from it. Uh, and the fact that I occasionally have to dip back into that is not new. But um, it doesn't make you comfortable. Well, no! <laughs> See, you're writing that down. I mean, doing that to Epsilon, somebody who was going to do that, going to take out the entire planet, tore me up inside so bad that I sought him out to apologize for the way I went about it. And, and then we ended up fighting and then he messed up my head and that led to that whole mess where you saw. Mm -hmm. I, I don't do these things lightly. I know you don't. All right. So I don't think I'm at the beginning of a slippery slope. I think, I think I've got, I, I, I think I've always stood in this odd place, uh, between mm, pacifism and everything else, uh, where, uh, I could never afford to truly commit to, well, uh, what I hold as more of an ideal, just not a particularly realistic one for me in my particular position and circumstance. Mm -hmm. Does it bug you you can't keep to your ideal? Yes. No elaboration? Mm. I would... It would be nice if things were um, more clear-cut uh, and in some places, in some uh, small circles, they can be quite nearly so, uh, so much that they uh, look black and white from the outside, but I have been around uh, too long and been to too many places to think that that uh, any value doesn't have its um, its exceptions and flaws and uh, well, there's the um, I have notes that I know I'm going to lose in like a week. <laughs> I know I'm going to, cause I'm going to, I'm going to take this page out of this book because mm -hmm. I'm going to continue something that I was writing previously and then I'm going to lose all of it. Cause I uh -huh. always lose all of it, but I have <laughs> notes again. Mm hmm. He says, well, there's the paradox of tolerance. Uh, if uh, a society or a person is, is tolerant without limit, uh, its ability to be to tolerant is eventually <laughs> seized or destroyed by the intolerant. intolerant. It's... <laughs> 
it's it seems self-contradictory, but in order to maintain tolerant society, you know, with just being nice to general people, the society must retain the right to be intolerant of intolerance. You you can't just if somebody comes to uh hurt you and your friends, you can't just roll over and take it. Mm-hmm. When when these are people who, who can't be uh yes, some people can be reasoned with, some people can be uh stopped, diverted, um changed, but but not everybody. So I mean it's it's a nice there are a lot of things that are nice to strive for but but that that have a lot more nuance than people necessarily recognize and uh I think it's fair to say that I'm forced to recognize uh on a fairly um well, maybe not a regular basis, but enough times that I've, um, I don't know, I'm a bit jaded about it. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Seeker takes another sip of tea. I have so many notes. I don't want to do more than a page because I'm going to lose both of them. <laughs> I will say these are a nice set of uh, nice set of ideals and counterpoints. He says, like looking over his notes. <laughs> He's just musing. Um. Yeah, Professor just sort of gives him like an exasperated look. What? <laughs> Tea? No, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Seeker puts the tea back. <laughs> <laughs> Is I feel like I've not answered what you're actually trying to get at. What do you think I'm trying to actually get at? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. Seeker, Seeker kind of like fiddles with uh with his pen. It's just what it really was. Just as simple as I wanted to know what was up with you. I don't know. I don't know if it's ever that simple with you. Seeker, Seeker has like a complex look on his face. It's just I don't, I don't know whether to be flattered or insulted. Mm. I'm gonna choose neither. Uh, <laughs> All right. But no, really, that I just wanted to make sure you're all right. Okay. You mean that? Yes. Because I have the zone of truth. You don't... Don't. <laughs> he, he, he sort of smirks, but uh, it, it was just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> he would hiss at you like a cat. <laughs> you were... You'd, even if you did cast zone of truth, I think he'd just like run out of it. <laughs> you can't stop him. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, was there something else? Uh, oh, no, was there something else? It, it's been a while since we had the conversation, and I was just like, yeah, Seeker seems satisfied with this. Oh. Um. Uh. I don't, I don't remember anything else. 
I mean, unless he wanted to get into like plot stuff specifically, because like he did say like in the episode, like you're not one to miss a plot hook, and the professor was like, "Do not." <laughs> oh, I forgot that's something we haven't revolve resolved yet. Mm. Uh, I lay down. Yeah, no, it's up to you. Uh... Do we want to get into that? It's already been like an hour. Yeah. Uh... We don't have to do that. <laughs> the, the real... I, I don't know if I have spoons. I'm so sorry. I don't know why my yeah. spoon count is low today. No, no, no. That's that's all right. Uh, I think I think he just kind of like looks at the professor. It's just really that's all I wanted to ask about. All right. I promise. Oh, one second. Somebody's trying to. Meh. No. Do, 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 commercial break. Do, 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 commercial break. Da, 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 commercial break. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, let's see. Well, he's, uh, he just said that was really. Uh, he, uh, he looks at the professor and he's just, really, that's all I wanted to ask, I promise. The professor, like, looks at him for a few moments, um, and, uh, seems to, like, uh, relax slightly, and he goes, well, all right. Are you... Did I answer your questions? Your concerns? I think you did. Uh, and he kind of he kind of gives a, a nice smile and like drums fingers on, on the little notebook he has. Um, Cause he got his answers! <laughs> did he mm -hmm. go about it in the best way? No. Yeah. Established character trait, nosy about lore. Um, in the worst yeah. ways possible. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Huh. So Professor sort of sighs and he says, "Like, all right. Um, well, uh, did you like the tea? Oh yes, it was very good. Oh, thank God. If I'm being honest, I've actually never made it before now." <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't tell. Yay! <laughs> he looks happy. Um, uh, and he kind of perks up. He's just, you know, uh, ta speaking about uh, soul, I actually picked these with them. Um, and mm. I wiggle if you want that to segue out, or if Professor has more questions. Uh, yeah, no, they can just start talking about stuff. Yeah. Have nice casual conversation after that fiasco. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, that's probably good to smooth things over because <laughs> he was really starting to piss Professor off. <laughs> good. <laughs> uh, I no offense, but good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you, uh, everybody, for listening. Um, present and future. Uh, we will bid you all a good time zone. Goodbye. Bye.